Hey everybody, it's Whitney with NatureHills.com. This week, I was going to jump straight into our top five favorite blueberries, but while I was discussing with our horticulturist, I realized we should really cover the different kinds of blueberries and how they're different from each other first. There are, conveniently, five different types of blueberry bushes. Northern high bush, southern high bush, low bush, rabbit eye, and half high. They all have their own unique characteristics that are helpful to know when picking out the blueberry bush that's right for you. First up is northern high bush. These blueberries are native to the eastern part of the U.S. and will often get to be on the bigger side, sometimes up to six to eight feet tall. You can tell the high bush varieties from the low bush, rabbit eyes, and half eyes by the botanical name, Mexinium corymbosum. High bushes are self-fertile and don't need a pollinator, but adding another variety close by can increase your crop size and can sometimes even extend your harvest season. These are great options for those in colder climates. One of the most interesting high bush varieties is pink icing, but you can't go wrong with the classics like Duke and Elliot, plus they make great pollinators. The other half of the high bush varieties are called southern high bush. These were developed for warmer regions of the south and need fewer chill hours each year to actively produce fruit. These will also get to be about 6 to 8 feet tall and are self-fertile. However, again, planting another variety close by will allow for cross-pollination which leads to larger and often longer harvests. A couple of great southern high bush options are Sunshine Blue and Misty. Low bush blueberries bear the botanical name Vaccinium angustifolium and are another variety native to the northeastern part of the U.S. They normally grow to be anywhere from 6 inches to 2 feet tall and are more often than not found growing naturally in the northeast. They're native from Canada and Maine down to North Carolina and as far west as Iowa and Minnesota. While they're mostly grown wild, there are a few great options for home gardens like Top Hat, North Blue, and North Country. Now, if you're looking for a truly happy in the heat blueberry, then you'll probably end up leaning more towards Rabbit Eye, Maxidium virgatum. They're native to the southeastern United States and were specifically bred with high bush and other varieties to have higher heat tolerance and lower chill hour requirements. These blueberry bushes will usually stick to being around three to six feet tall and are not self-pollinating for the most part. You'll want to plant two kinds in order to cross-pollinate for fruit production. A couple of popular standouts are Brightwell and Premier. Both are known for producing loads of extremely flavorful berries. Lastly, there are half-high blueberries. These are a cross between high bush and low bush varieties that come in a range of sizes. Half-highs are known for doing well in containers and require less pruning than traditional high bush varieties, while offering more height and thus berries per plant than many low bush varieties. Like their parent varieties, half highs are self-pollinating, but do produce more when planted near another blueberry bush. North Sky comes to mind as a great half high, followed closely by Patriot and Polaris. And there you go. Now, the next time you're on the hunt for the perfect blueberry bush, you can feel confident in your understanding of the different blueberry terms. I had a lot of fun learning about these. Do you have any of these in your garden? Tell me which down in the comments. And taking care of blueberries can be intimidating. So I suggest checking out our video on how to plant blueberries along with reading more about their care instructions on each blueberry product page and on our hashtag ProPlantTips blog. As always, if you like our videos, please leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to join the community of plant lovers and garden inspiration seekers over on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest pages. Until next time, happy planting.